What's going on? It's your boy Tani from World Graphics, and I'm bringing you guys another video after a good uh, few months. But uh, yeah, this video is actually gonna be separated into five different parts. All of those five different parts are gonna include different ways you can improve your GFX. You can pick up any video that you like and just use it for your GFX. You can start from part one, two. It is gonna be in order, but you can just use what what ever video you want but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you still don't understand this uh, whole concept you can join our discord server that's gonna be linked in the description to be honest and ask me guys ask me for questions so i'll see you guys in the video so then i'm gonna be showing you how to do this simple lighting effect now, this is going to take under five minutes to do, so I'm hoping so I, I can just speed run this entire video, make it simple and easy to understand. So first thing you want to do is actually go into Shader Editor. If you don't know how to do that, then you go to the bottom right here and you drag to the side like this. Then you're going to click this and click Shader Editor. After that, you're going to look for this. Now, this is going to be a texture. This is going to be a principal BSDF and this is going to be a material output. Now, you want to copy my settings, but if you do not have this like in this order specifically, you can download this spe specific rig that I have in the description that's going to be included with all of this exactly. So you guys don't need to put in any work and all you got to do is change the skin right here, which you can understand from here i guess now for the next step is going to be the lighting itself actually no setting up the scene so first thing you want to do is make sure all of your settings are set to whatever fits you i recommend you set render of samples to 1000 denoise you can use open image denoise if you do not have um any nvidia encoding software but anything honestly works and also make sure you have you're using blender 3.0 that is the current blender i'm using right now next thing you want to change is make sure the background is transparent and you want to open up color management it should be at the bottom and make sure you're in cycles now you're going to change your uh view transform from uh filmic i think you have it on to what then you're going to copy this exact exposure and gamma I'll give you guys a few seconds to do that. And then for the curve, I do not use a curve. So if any of you do know how to use a curve, then you can go ahead and do that. But I prefer not to. Now for the next step, I think it should be looking like this. Completely dark. Also, make sure you're not using an HDR and that your uh, surface is set to, what is this? 0 0.010. 0.01 to be honest now first thing you want to do is click shift plus a and create an area light and do like this and create an area light now this area light is going to be on top so what you want to do now is go into the settings of the light and you just want to bring it up just like so already starting to look much better your next step is going to be creating another light area light rotating it behind your character and bringing up the power just like so also make sure it's not in the camera view like this line if it is you can mess around with the spread which can control it but i prefer not to touch this really then you want to change the color of the background whichever color you like you can even pick, pick uh, green blue and so on so i'm gonna go ahead and choose purple just like this okay now this is already starting to look nice like this now i'm gonna create another light but it's going to be a point light and i'm going to put 
there or right here just like so bring up the power and also bring up the radius and i'm gonna make this orange orange like this yep exactly like that maybe bring up the radius a little more just like that and i'm gonna create another area light but that's gonna be at the side of them and i'm gonna bring up the size and the power there we go and i'm gonna make this also purple after that for the background if you don't know have a background like this you i have this exact background in the description if you want to use this for some odd reason but you know what do whatever now this is where the the real actual lighting part comes in so what you want to do is click shift plus a go to mesh and create a cone now you're going to scale the cone up by clicking s and moving your mouse to the side up until it's a pretty big size okay this is enough and you're gonna cover up your character or whatever you have with this cone then you're gonna click new you're gonna remove the surface um, texture or whatever it's called and you're gonna go to go ahead and go to volume click volume and then this and you're gonna pick if I can find it um, um, volume scatter as you can see it doesn't change much so you're gonna bring the color down to not pitch black but pretty low color and you should set, set your density to 0.5 and let's see and set this to maybe roughly like this and maybe bring up the color a bit there you go now if you still if you still feel like as if you got too much light you can always go back to the color management and lower the exposure just like that now is there another step that you need to do no because this is all you need to do to create a simple light just like this it shouldn't take you more than five minutes i know this video is very fast and hard to understand but with time you are, you should be able to understand this much quicker and i hope this video helps you if you need any help join our discord server where i will be assured to assist you whenever i can which i will be sure to do that most of the time but yeah Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in part two, three, four, and five. And yeah, have a blessed day.